Good evening, all. I am excited to introduce Dr. Abhay. He is the star of the interview today. Uh, he is all India rank 15 in the uh, NEET SS that was conducted in March 25. Actually, it was the uh, 2024 session. Uh, first of all, uh, Dr. Abhay, congratulations for the stellar performance. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I am like super happy that uh, you are interviewing me. And uh, yeah, it was always one of my dreams like to be on this interview. Thank you, sir. Okay. You're living the dream now. So <laughs> first, we'll have a brief introduction about your, your like, where did you did your uh, UG, your PG, uh, and where are you from basically at all? Sure, sir. Uh, I am from Chennai. I did my undergraduation from uh, Madras Medical College. Uh, my post graduation was from uh, JIPMA, sir. I recently passed out. Uh, like this, Feb twenty twenty five was my last working day, sir. Feb end. Yeah. Okay, so you were you just finished your MD exams? Yes, sir. I just finished my MD exams. Uh, my MD exams was in December, and yeah, okay. my course ended in February twenty twenty five, sir. Oh, that's great. So you didn't take a uh, year back or you have to sit back and study. So it's like a continuation. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thankfully. Yeah. So how did you get interested in pediatric neurology? I know you are like interested in both in pediatric neurology as well as neonatology. So usually pediatric neurology is a subject that is considered as tough by the uh, pediatric PGs. So how did you like it? Uh, so one of the reasons I like pediatric neurology is it's very challenging, sir. Like uh, it's very stimulating, and uh, it is. I feel uh, neurology is one subject where still our clinical skills matter. Like if you examine the baby properly, uh, and uh, yeah, we can contribute to the diagnosis with help of clinical examination also, sir. Uh, and it's not entirely dependent on in investigations. And second thing is um, the huge load, sir. We have uh, unmet uh, need uh, right now in our country, at least. Uh, even in our OPDs, at least 50 to 60 percent of children come with neurological problems, and they end up getting referred to a neurologist, sir. Yeah, that spiked my interest, sir. And uh, yeah, I, I like the entire disease spectrum, like starting from development, and then seizures. Yeah, it, it, I find quite interesting and intriguing, sir. Exactly. I cannot more agree with that. So uh, obviously, MMC is a very busy center. And how do you manage your studies and your clinical work side by side? Uh, so, uh, so I did JIPMA, so MMC was undergraduation. Uh, okay. But it's even more yeah. busy than <laughs> uh, So I believe in the idea of uh, doing something uh, little by little, something you do every day rather than doing everything at one moment, sir. So, Every day, uh, whenever I used to see a case, uh, and I used to go back and read about it, and our faculties are very great. I am super lucky that uh, I had uh, such wonderful teachers and wonderful friends, like uh, who have guided me through this journey. You know, like everything was an experience. It's like a team experience, sir. Like even learning, and I've never felt like learning as a burden. It was more of a joy for me, sir. Like. Uh, you know, always there was something in me like, what can I do to, you know, make uh, better? How can we do better? What can we do to like change the uh, outcomes of this condition? Yeah, how to support families and all that, sir. So I think uh, I did not have any formal preparation as such because I just finished uh, exams. But I feel like it has a lot to do with the passive learning and all the um, same cases, a uh, multitude of cases, which I saw during my residency, helped me a lot in answering a lot of questions in the exam, sir. So I think now recently there's a change in the exam pattern. Previously, it was just like checking the facts and mugging up the fact, like what is the most common cause of this, that. Now it's more like clinically oriented. Who has done well in their clinics and who are, are their groundworks be, uh, better, they will be firing better in these exams. That's what I feel. So what do you feel? Like the exams are more practically oriented or it's like knowledge based? Uh, exactly, sir. Uh, I I totally agree with you. Like even the factual questions uh, they wanted, uh, they asked, were uh, deep down related to some clinical knowledge. So like they tied in. Uh, even though the question was a fact-based question, but without knowing that fact, you will not be able to manage a patient. So I feel like medicine is just like that, sir. Like there are a few facts we have to know, and then there are concepts we have to know. Yeah. So it was a well-balanced paper with all facts and your concepts. 
which I feel is the right way to go about, sir. It's nice that you have clear thoughts about that. So, uh, the textbooks, which are, which were the textbooks that you were resorting to? It was only Nelson, or you were uh, for different subjects. You were having different textbooks like Swyman for neurology, like that, or it was completely Nelson based. How was your preparation? So, uh, my preparation was entirely uh, Nelson based. Sir. I did not use uh, any other textbook. Although I used to refer to a lot of articles, uh, like uh, ILA articles when managing a seizure case uh, during my uh, post-graduation. Uh, there are a lot of beautiful articles out there. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, I think that added to uh, my learning. And uh, obviously your videos as well, sir. Like, uh, I really like uh, love the perspective uh, you've given over entire neurology, which you've covered. Uh, yeah, that helped me build a foundation, and uh, yeah, on top of that, I kept building uh, with the articles and uh, Nelson. So I only use Nelson predominantly. So in the question paper, was there like uh, many images and uh, like MRIs, uh, EEGs, clinical photographs based questions? Uh, so uh, there were not many out of uh, 200, uh, I think there were around 20, 30 questions, which were image based. Like uh, there were two questions on uh, fungus. They had just shown us the picture of the fungus and asked us to identify the condition. MRI as such, they did not ask pictures, sir, but they gave description of the MRI. Uh, like these so and so are the findings. Uh, yeah. And what is the most likely diagnosis in a clinical setup? Yes, sir. most likely it was like that. There was uh, no EEG, but again, uh, they did not give a picture of EEG. So they gave an interpretation like uh, this is the EEG finding, which is the most common epileptic disorder fitting into this scenario. It was like that, sir. So how much did the Maru uh, grant test and the mock test help you in preparing the exams? Uh, they, uh, so I did not have much time to like uh, go through all everything uh, in the Maru, the entire content. Uh, so I mainly saw neonatology and neurology. Uh, I saw a little bit of pediatric oncology as well, sir. Uh, so these three subjects I saw and uh, peed gastro I saw, sir. Uh, not entirely, parts of it, but entirely I was able to see is uh, pediatric neurology I saw uh, the entirety and neonatology I saw an entirety, sir. Question bank, I did not have much time to do the question bank, so I did not do the question bank, sir, because it was very close to the exam. But I made sure I gave a grant test or a mini test uh, every second day, and I would review it the next day. Uh, grant test was quite helpful, sir, um, like that exam, um, stimulating that exam pattern. Yeah, uh, so it was quite helpful. I learned a lot from the grant test as well, like whatever points which I felt uh, were volatile, I could not retain. I would write it down somewhere and like, just before the bed, I would revise it. Yeah, so it stays in my long-term memories. Okay. So how did, uh, other than textbooks, like the apps, like up-to-date, Medscape, etc., uh, app, uh, like web-based apps, how did it help you? Um, so I'm truly indebted to up-to-date, like uh, uh, from uh, uh, like the beginning of residency, I have, I've been using up-to-date, sir. Like uh, it's an amazing uh, platform. Like uh, the information given is current, relevant, uh, treatment protocols are up to date, as the name says, up to date. Yeah. So uh, it's an amazing platform, sir. Like uh, even now, whenever I'm in a dilemma, like uh, which uh, the evidence behind um, uh, whatever we are doing is clearly mentioned in the apps. So, and I feel evidence based medicine is what um, we should all practice. And that's what my teachers have also taught me, sir. So yeah, I heavily relied on up to date, sir. Uh, Medscape also I used to use certain uh, because it's free. Uh, yeah, that also was really helpful, sir. But I entirely use up to date a lot. Yeah. So talking about the evidence based medicine, how did uh, how much did you uh, uh, like uh, give time to study statistics separately? Was there like a session for sec statistics separately? How many questions were they? Uh, presenting statistics in the question exam this time uh so actually there was no question from statistics sir there was zero questions from statistics in this exam uh, yes sir so was it like you had prepared uh separated for statistics or uh so for statistics uh in our institute we have journal uh, clubs happening every monthly ones 
so they are professors used to teach us a lot of statistics and i recently done my thesis as well sir so all that statistic knowledge was there in my head uh, to use if any question had come sir um i i have my statistics note from neat pg ka preparation sir so i use that a little bit sir yeah okay nice so that reminds us that learning is a continuous curve it's not like stop at one stops at after one exam or so so among the, in the pediatric neurology among that Uh, which was the thrust area among pediatric neurology questions like uh, was it more in the epilepsy was it more in the metabolic demyelination how was that so actually i felt uh, pediatric neurology they had covered each and every area so like there was one question from uh, demyelinating disorder nmdi encephalitis they had asked uh, eeg they asked for lennox gastaut syndrome uh, the cherry red spot was asked a uh, fundus base question given with uh, delayed development of milestones uh sma newer drugs were asked, uh, like uh, new synersin was asked in the exam sir so they covered almost everything like neuromuscular disorders and uh, your core uh, neurology so, yeah uh there were not many questions from neurology i felt sir like there were only 10 to 15 questions and they covered almost entirety of it they touched all areas so the questions what do they have asked was it like the common expected questions or were there were many questions like you are like completely unheard of a completely some different syndrome or something was it questions like that also uh there was uh most of the questions were commonly asked questions only so i felt like whatever we see routinely in our clinics is what i felt the entire exam was actually like uh, not just neurology ne- neonatal cholestasis also which is something which we are taught in detail from our, right from our undergraduation days and there were nearly like around 10 questions from neonatal cholestasis sir so certain high yield areas from each uh, subject they had picked and they asked only that sir it was not lot of syndromes yeah there were two three syndromes sir but all, they also were like very common ones which we see like mucopolysaccharidosis uh, how do you approach a, a dysmorphic baby and um, idd baby how do you go about and yeah down syndrome obviously sir yeah so it was pretty uh, i felt it was uh they asked everything from common areas only so like what we are supposed to know at the end of our pediatric residency yeah it was like that so, so what's your advice to the other aspirants to prepare any pediatric uh, super specialty exam uh so honestly i feel i'm not the right person to give advice cuz i'm not prepared uh, intensively just for this uh but from my experience all i would say is like uh uh whatever we are doing day to day like whatever knowledge we have accumulated through the past uh everything we should try to integrate sir like what i feel is lot of people they try to start a fresh sir like uh, no no i'm just going to start studying now they do not realize that they have been learning all this while through under graduation post graduation all those preparation phases so rather than starting new i think we should build on what we already know sir that way it saves time it boosts confidence as well sir so yeah and reading standard textbooks helps a lot sir like uh, nelson is written very beautifully albeit neurology is very complicated and it's quite difficult to read in nelson yeah that's where uh, your videos came into play sir like you've simplified it very beautifully uh, and uh, like so i knew like which genes to focus on and uh, like so many like even just neuropathy then nelson gives tables and tables of genes but you have concentrated like okay these are the genes you're supposed to know that was very helpful sir uh yeah so i think that's where apps like these come into uh, picture sir like they help you consolidate your knowledge but uh, yeah but basic knowledge comes from reading textbooks sir that's what i feel sir so a uh, heartfelt thanks from my side so Thank you so abhay so, words have i will reinforce the fact that there is no shortcut to uh ground level clinical works without ground level clinical work just mugging up facts is not going to help in any exam so that's what abhay's words is proving so i think we'll wind up the uh interview then all the best for all your future endeavors dr abhay thank you so much sir i would like to thank everyone who has helped me in this journey so my parents my friends uh my best friends all my teachers uh you and everybody in the maru faculty team sir i've learned everything from you guys and also my patients sir like i've learned a lot from my patients and i truly hope they recover yeah so all the very best dr abhay will stop here thank you so much